it's crazy hot and uh, all the snakes and lizards are partying under the sun. Oh, it smells like uh, herbs and flowers. It's amazing. Okay. Well, to pet the cat was the best I can get out of here. There's the toilets. No, that's something else, so... No way, I don't know. Let's go. Oh, that's electricity post. Oh, and that's a water pump station. Okay. Stupid me. Anyway, so uh, to pet the cat was the best I could get. There is a rhyme because uh, the cat owner is down at uh, Karlovo for supplies. Haha! <laughs> no soup for me, so I'll speed up to Karlovo. Okay, let's go. Okay, there's the hot owner with the delivery. Let's check him out. Rusty. 
sa sa mozi. Ima li ošte? Ne, ali. I don't know, most likely that was the, the new hut owner with uh, the supplies for the weekend. Today is Thursday, June 22nd. So if he's expecting like a lot of people Friday and Saturday, he gotta make the delivery today. Yeah, a huge snake, but luckily not po uh, not venomous. These are uh, just uh, kind of cool to see. They're not uh, venomous, but still, don't mess around with them <laughs> unless you're uh, really experienced with uh, lizards.
this is the drinking water for Karlovo, I guess. Restricted area. <coughs> Yeah, so I was trying to speed up and uh, catch the train at 12.39 uh, p.m. But I realized that it's gonna be too much. I mean, it, it, it's been like a pretty nice uh, four day uh, trek. Probably I walked about, I don't know, gotta check the stats probably about 100 kilometers of a distance and I'm pretty sure it's more than 3-4 vertical kilometers of, of a climb up and down maybe even more, maybe above 5,000 meters I'll check the stats and let you know so instead of this I'll take it slow not break my legs and try to eat something on the go as I said in Karlovo because I didn't get any soups anywhere so I'm I'll have enough time to grab a soup somewhere if I see a, like a little restaurant or something so that's still nice experience maybe hopefully let's go
Why are we climbing again? <laughs> Smells like uh, herbs and flowers. It's amazing. So this is Central Balkan National Park. <laughs> we took it from here. Here, tiki 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 tiki. So from here. Vision. Echo. Kozestena. Dermenka. Kupen, Kupen, Jotec, Botev. And on a previous video I did from here to here. So only here we need to go and this is one of the two portions of the Stara Ponina that have left uh, uh, for me to videotape uh, as part of my project uh, Explore Bulgaria and uh, these parts are one of it is right there uh, the peak is Kademlia, Gulam Kademlia, we have seen him uh, from different uh, viewpoints of the Balkan and the other one is to the west, or border with Serbia. Uh, over there we have a few peaks, uh, Kom, Mijur, and a few more around them. So we're gonna go there soon, but uh, the west part of Stara Ponina has more forests. So I'm leaving it for a bit later. Here is very open, up at the main ridge, no forest, so it's very hot in July and in August, you know. I prefer to get a bit of wind, but not crazy hot weather. It's crazy hot and uh, all the snakes and lizards are partying under the sun. So just be careful, especially in, uh, again, July, August. Phew.
So I want to check on the GPS because here apparently there is a nice waterfall. Yeah, it's named Suchurum. Let's go and check it out. It's a quick detour. So let's go and check it out. My brakes are kind of refusing to work today already, I mean, I down climbed about two vertical kilometers in the past four or five hours. So my GPS says that if I go up, there is a water. Should be right in front of the vets. Uh -huh. Okay, I washed a bit, refilled the water bottle, uh, changed the t-shirt, put again the sun hat. Let's check out the waterfall really quick and go down because <laughs> if I don't go down fast, I'm on my way to miss the next trip too. Okay. Alrighty. There 
there is a bunch of kids or something, I don't want to mess around. Let's just go fast down. Just double checking. And this is where I... No, this is where the Asian guys come from. No, so no. So I'm pretty much nearby the town of Tarovo, so everybody's gonna be wondering around. <laughs> These are my friends. <laughs> cool. So, yeah, I'll pretty much cut it out because most likely I'll have to interfere with a lot of people. But let me see what the stats are. So, up to here it's about two vertical kilometers. Let me just go around that person. Nice. Up to here is, uh, wow, <laughs> again 22 kilometers. How come? How come today was not that long, just five hours and a half? since the start at uh, Shelter Botev. Down climbed, yeah, 200 and, uh, 2,100 meters and up, up climbed 100. First up, Yeah, some local kids, you know. Uh, keep in mind that local kids can be aggressive, you know. So, don't bother with them. And, uh, Yeah, 500 down, so that's quite a lot, 500 up, 2000 down, and here we get like plenty of people and they're quite curious. After the park. So this is the beginning of uh, the town of Karlovo. From here to the train station I'm not gonna record because uh, there are plenty of people on the streets today. And this is, uh, this is one of the greatest Bulgarian alpinists, Christo Prodonov, uh, who is uh, the first Bulgarian, uh, no, the first person that climbed uh, Everest on the West Ridge on the April 20th, 1984, without alone, without Sherpas, and without supplementary oxygen. And uh, he's a hero. He died on the way down, unfortunately. So, Peter from Guitar Travels, I'm already in Karovo, going down to the train station. I'll just grab something to eat on the way. It was a great four day trek. I'll upload the GPS tracks. Please subscribe. Follow Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, uh, YouTube, and everything else. And I'll see you later. Keep it posted. I'll keep it, keep you posted. Man, I'm tired. I'll keep you posted for the next adventure. So ready.